নমস্কার শ্রদ্ধে অমৃত রসিক সুধীবৃন্দ সংগীত নাটক অকাডেমির সত্রিয়া কেন্দ্র গুয়াহীর হয়ে মানে আপনার সবক নৃত্য পর্ব দুহাজার বিশর আজির প্রদর্শনমূলক বক্তৃতা অনুষ্ঠান আন্তরিক সম্ভাষণ সহ আদরণি জানাই নমস্কার লেডিজ এন্ড জেন্টলমেন অন বিহাফ অফ সত্রিয়া কেন্দ্র গুয়াহী অফ সংগীত নাটক একাডেমি আই উড লাইক টু এক্সটেন্ড দ্য ওয়ার্ম ওয়েলকাম টু ইউ অল টু নৃত্য পর্ব টু থাউজেন্ড টুয়েন্টিজ লেকচার ডেমনস্ট্রেশন সেশন Ladies and gentlemen, you would certainly appreciate the accentuating circumstances that have rendered live performances impossible. In view of this, we have moved to an online format to showcase the performances of this festival. For live webcast, please log on to our Sangeet Nadak Academy website or our Facebook page. नृत्य पर्व हॉट्रिया नृत्य के राष्ट्रीय वार्षिक समारोह है पिछले कई वर्षों से संगीत नाटक अकादमी के हॉट्रिया केंद्र गुवाहाटी इस पर्व को मनाते आ रहे हैं ये पर्व नए पुराने सभी कलाकारों को अपनी कला को प्रदर्शित करने का एक भव्य मंच प्रदान करके उन्हें प्रोत्साहित करती है ये पर्व नृत्य के प्रचार प्रसार और संवर्धन में सहायक होती है संगीत नाटक अकादमी भारत गणराज्य द्वारा स्थापित संगीत नृत्य और नाटक की प्रथम राष्ट्रीय कला अकादमी है भारत के पहले राष्ट्रपति डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद ने 28 जनवरी उन्नीस को संसद भवन में आयोजित एक विशेष समारोह में इसका उद्घाटन किया अपने स्थापना काल से ही संगीत नाटक अकादमी देश में प्रदर्शन कला के क्षेत्र की शीर्षतम संस्था के रूप में कार्य करती रही है ये संस्था देश में संगीत नृत्य और नाटक की विभिन्न संस्कृतियों की व्यापक परंपराओं के संरक्षण और संवर्धन के लिए कटिबद्ध है द हॉट्रिया केंद्र गुवाहाटी एस्टैब्लिश एज पार्ट ऑफ द संगीत नाटक अकेडमीज प्रोजेक्ट सपोर्टिंग हॉट्रिया डांस एंड लाइट ट्रेडिशंस हैज बीन इन ऑपरेशन सिंस जुलाई 2008। इन एडिशन टू नृत्य पर्व द हॉट्रिया केंद्र आल्सो ऑर्गेनाइजेज टू मेजर एनुअल फेस्टिवल्स ओंकिया भावना समारोह एंड हॉट्रिया संगीत समारोह Moreover, sponsoring programs and festivals outside the home state has been a priority for the Kendra. We will now present Srimati Onnekha Mohanto's lecture demonstration session on Rasanubhava, Reflections of Bhakti and Female Portrayals in Hotriya Dance. A dedicated young exponent of Hotriya Dance, Srimati Onnekha Mohanto is a disciple of Padma Shri Bayana Sajja Ghanakanta Bora. She has been honored with Ustad Bismillah Khan Yuva Puraskar from Sangeet Nadak Academy. Srimati Mohanto has also received the coveted Charles Wallace Fellowship from Charles Wallace India Trust and British Council. She is also the recipient of many other prestigious awards. Srimati Mohanto is a graded artist of Doordarshan in Hotriya Dance and an empaneled artist of ICCR. She has performed extensively across India and also abroad. On to you ma'am. Hari <laughs> Ram কিমতে ভকতি করিব তোমাত হরিয়ে মি মূর হমতি নজানো তার তুমি প্রভু কৃপে রাগর হরিয়ে পদসায়তলে থাক 
তুমি প্রভু কৃপা রখে রাগর হরিয়ে দিও মুক তুয়া পদসায়া থাই রাম রাম দ্য লাইন ইট সেলফ সাজেস্টস দ্য এক্সিস্টেন্স অফ লাইফ এমিনেটিং ফ্রম দি ওশন অফ রেসাস ইন দি ম্যাক্রোকসমিক ফোর্স অ্যান্ড ডিজাইন অফ লাইফ অ্যান্ড দ্যাট আর লাইফ এক্সপিরিয়েন্সেস লিড আস এভরি মুমেন্ট টুয়ার্ডস দি ওশন অফ রেসাস Namaskar to all the Rasikas and Vidwans. It's indeed a great honor for me and my team to be a part of this artistic journey of Nritya Parva. So on behalf of my team on Kohl, Shri Debojit Hoikya, on vocal, Shri Gautam Bayan, and vocal and dance by Shri Hari Prakhat Hoikya Borbayan, We sincerely thank Sangeet Natak Academy for giving us this beautiful opportunity to share our humble understanding of the great heritage of Satriya dance tradition from Assam. The paper has been titled as Rasanubhava, Reflections of Bhakti and Female Portrayals of Satriya Dance. India a land of multivocal cultures offer plentiful tangible and intangible traditions in the form of visual performing oral oral representations where the content is delivered or lived not only in the forms of theoretical texts but in multiple expressive ways of paintings oral oral performances design and craft works literary and musical compositions dance and theatrical movements and so on the maha nirvana tantra which emphasizes on practice sadhana rather than in discussion says though art formless though possessing form for by means of maya though dost assume innumerable forms according to thy desire the above quote lead us to important areas which will be discussed in today's session forms subjectivity representations and responses the session shall further contextualize these areas within the performance context where imagination content thoughts and understanding are embodied to deliver as visual oral and performance representations introduced in rigveda to mean water soma juice the concept of rasa took a metaphysical dimension in the upanishads relating to the brahman of the supreme divinity as it says sa agachati salajyam samasthamam tam brahma rasa Pravisati, written nearly a millennium before Bharata expounded the theory of Rasa in the Natya Shastra in the context of drama as an aesthetic relish, the Upanishads explicated Rasa in striving to encapsulate the ultimate reality in words. Aestheticizing the metaphysical and at times the ephemeral nature of meaning of Rasa implicit in the upanishadic thoughts bharata inducted new dynamics to it by describing rasa to be the soul in the soul and essence of drama and incorporating all features to its theory and application the rasa theory in turn came to dominate the intellectual history in indian aesthetics for several centuries so in this context we can refer to the works of aesthetes like abhinava gupta in his abhinava bharati uh, ananda vardhana in his dhyana loka and pandit jagannatha in his rasa ganga dhara who dwelt extensively on bharata's theory of rasa from this metaphysical as well as aesthetic explication rasa again took another turn which um, 
again took another turn with the dissemination across the hills and valleys of the subcontinent through Bhagavat Purana. The Bhagavata Purana and the medieval bhakti movement led not only to the theologization of rasa, but also to the development of rasa of devotion, bhakti. Bhakti preponderated in the entire range of literature, blossoming in different parts of India in the wake of movement affecting exposition of various rasas. Thus, beginning from theological and ritual pursuit, the concept and practice of rasa completed a full cycle during the bhakti movement. Hotriya dance, a distinctive dance form from Assam, imbued with the sacred expressive content of bhakti movement of Assam, shares an interesting historical legacy with its presence and practice observed even today in the dualistic context of ritual and proscenium art. Emerging from the Ankhya Bhavana, the lyrical dramatic form con conceptualized and presented by Saint Poet Sri Monta Honkorde, 1449-1568, the history of dance form takes to the basic concept of Shravana and Kirtana as the potential medium to move the minds towards the Bhagavata faith, stir the minds with imagination, aesthetics, poetry through a methodological practice of Sharira, Swara and Nada. In preferring Shravana and Kirtana among the nine modes of bhakti, the saint poet Shankaradeva says, Jadyapitu Navavidha Bhakti Madhavara, Shravana Kirtana Talaoti Shrestara. To listen and to sing, recite, dance is the best way of realizing bhakti amidst its nine modes and experience the existential presence of Madhava. With importance laid on the embodying practices, be it with music, dance, drama, painting, sculpture and crafts, the Bhakti movement in Assam, led by Srimanta Honkardib, though a part of pan-Indian Bhakti movement, traveling from the Deccan lands to the Gangetic plains, centering round the intense single-minded devotion to Lord Vishnu, or Krishna, as enshrined in Bhagavata Purana, the movement in Assam went far beyond the portals of religious movement, giving it a dimension of great cultural and creative resurgence. Consummation of Bhakti and Bhava. Satriya dance, an upshot of this Renaissance milieu, is based on the corpus of Bhakti compositions of Honkardev. Madhavdev and the immediate apostles who are considered to be the fountainheads of bhakti movement in Assam. Like most of the medieval bhakti literature of India, poetry and other literary works of great saint poets are imbued with a spirit of devotion. Although an exploration of various sentiments and moods are explored, the bhavas finally consume it in the ocean of bhakti, as we have spoken in our first line itself. With a psychosomatic approach, this rasa intake of bhakti, which means unflinching devotion, total surrender, and realization of ultimate spiritual reality, the union with the divine is through a sojourn of emotions, sensing the indriyas, and finally leading to jnanendriya, through the senses of Karmendriya, sense of actions. Hence, a rasic experience of satriya dance, music, and literature nourish a performer or an audience to grow through a mixed emotive fluids offering tripti and moksha. As the saint poet Honkardev in his Ankhya Bhavana says, Natakam Mukti Sadhakam. The compositions ranging from the Borgits, Kirtan Guha, Ankhya Nat, verses of Bhagavata offer kaleidoscopic array of emotions from Shringara, Karuna, Rodra, Veera, Adbhuta, Hasya, Bhaya, Vibhatsa, Shanta to an interesting exploration of portrayals of characters, embracing figures or representations ranging from divine 
to the devotee, kings to the common public, including flora and fauna. Included among those figures portrayed are a large body of female characters corroborating the philosophical tenets expounded in them. I have chosen the subject of portrayal of female in due consideration of Shankaradeva's philosophical view of Prakriti and Puruha on an equal plane of bhakti as found in fulsome representations of series of characters like Yashoda, Doibuki, Rukmini, Hoytabhama, Hoyrindri, and so many gopikas. Even the Vipra Patnis, in, as mentioned in the Patni Prahad of uh, Hong Kordib, and the wives of uh, the Kalia are put on a high esteem as bhaktas. This philosophical view percolated down to all levels of art forms, painting, dance, and so much so that signification of Prakriti and Purusha is defined distinctively and elegantly with two sets of repertoire in Satriya dance format where the intent of bhakti remains same at the core. The belief of Bheda Abheda in belonging to the larger macrocosmic force as microcosmic units embraces the notion of Prakriti and that you and I are part of that supreme consciousness. And hence, as individuals, we do hold both male and feminine gunas within us in celebration of the Prakriti in its unit of Purusha. The first execution of female portrayal as seen in Ankhya Nath, penned by the saint poet Honkordev, Madhavdev introduced Salinas, where we see the celebration of grace and elegance and the feminine energy. So I would like to begin my demonstration with that elaboration of feminine energy. Prakriti Purukha Duiro Niyanta Ma Mahari Pora 
coming back to the works of Honkar Dev and Madhav Dev in the form of Borgits, Onkyanats, translations of philosophical works, a range of characters with vivid bhavas are sketched. Yet, the moods oscillate and get centralized to a sense of intense devotion and submission to Krishna, a deity who is close to heart rather than a distant idol in multiple forms such as friend, lover, son, hero, and so on. So when the saint poet Honkardev expresses Narigone bule murti dhorisa modone, which says, women folk display the varied emotions of love when they see Krishna in Honkardeva's composition of Kamsavad, in his magnum opus, Kirtan Kuha. So there we see a teenager, how a teenager vents out her adolescent love and a Puranari expecting Krishna to be her lover realize that one could unite with the Lord, with Krishna, only through contemplation of Krishna within them. Scholars like Kaliram Medhi refer to the importance of bhakti under the veil of Sringara and how with each rasa, one is introduced to the Paramatattva in Honkodeva's work, as the same poet recurrently pronounces in all his compositions, Bulo Hori Hori Hobe Huko Hodagoti. So my next elaboration will be that of Nari Gone Bule Murti. So where, as I said earlier, we see the ver uh, varied range of emotions of Sringara when the women folk in Mathura, they see Krishna when he enters Mathura. So presenting before you an excerpt from the work Mathura Vijay, where we get to see Narigone Bule Murti Dhori Samodone. Gone, Bole Murti, Dori, Samodone, Are Nari Gone, Bole Murti, Dori, Samodone,
So that was briefly an example of how an adolescent love gets expressed by a teenager, an old woman who sees Krishna like her son, how she expresses, and how a Puranari, an immature woman of Mathura, they express their love towards Krishna. So while portraying a character, or even in putting songs, choreographing dance numbers, or reciting the dialogues, the performer keeps in mind the ideals of bhakti inherent in the text. While the freedom of interpreting the character has always been there, convergence to the point of bhakti from diverse sentiments is a principal concern. Other sentiments as demanded by the dramatic situations are dexterously displayed without any strain or without harming the main objective of the dramatic situation, but consume it into bhakti. In the female portrayal of the dramatic situation over the quarrel of the Parijata flower in Hankardeva's work, Parijat Haran, uh, we see how Krishna's wife, Satyabhama, a sensuous lady with the pride of her beauty, becomes possessive of Krishna. She gets deeply disturbed when she hears that Krishna offers the beautiful flower Parijata to Rukmini and not to her. And she claims that flower, so Krishna promises that he would plant the Parijata tree, not only the flower, but the Parijata tree in her courtyard. So she, along with her husband, Krishna, they go to Indra uh, uh, and demand the, uh, uh, the, the Parijata tree. And the, after that follows a scene where Satyabhama and Sachi, Indra's wife, they show their mundane expressions of anger, jealousy, and pride. Both the characters mock at each other and praise the greatness of their husbands. However, the quarrel ends with the heroic success of Krishna and the scene concludes with the offering of Parijata tree to Krishna. The success of Krishna in winning over the Parijata also suggests the hollowness of egotism and materialism before the sublimity of the divine Lord. But here I would like to suggest that I say that as we have been concentrating only on female portrayals, that doesn't mean that the male characters and their variegated expressions of be it vira, egotism, or various rasas, even the male characters, they also undergo this sadgati and uh, finally consume it to bhakti. So now from my paradigm of female character, I would just like to briefly uh, give an example of the character of Indra in Parijat Haran, where we see from his boast, he being the lord of the devas, Indra, when he confronts Krishna and boasts about his, uh, uh, you know, material, materialistic possessions, finally how he surrenders to the lord. So now I would like to request uh, uh, Sri Hari Prakat Hoikya Borbayan, who is from Bhogpur, Sri Sri Bhogpur Hotra, uh, I would like to request him to demonstrate that particular instance of Indra surrendering before Lord Krishna. Now, they will, uh, after this, the entry, there is a war sequence between Krishna and Indra. And following that, Indra realizes about the futility of the Maya and surrenders before the Lord. The war sequence between Krishna and Indra.
जय जय जादव मुरारी जय धाता कृत सेव जय भकतर भयहारी जगत ईश्वर मुरारी सो दिस डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन इट सेल्फ वी सी हाउ फ्रॉम one rasa to the another there is a constant oscillation and finally it comes down to that state of shanta and the state of devotion so now coming back to the uh, female character satyabhama's pride and possessiveness are questioned when krishna offers the parijata flower to rukmini her suffering in the form of anger and distress is a form of pity in which she undergoes a realization of her subjective self furthermore her egotist self and materialistic pleasure get ruptured when rukmini laughs at her triumphant note on attaining parijata tree so rukmini says oe bhogini hatya bhama ki kohoi so जगत को परम गुरु श्री कृष्ण उन्हीं को शरण सेवा करते ब्रह्मांडरे भरे कुर्लभ थी क धर्म अर्थ काम मुख्य चार पदर हाथ मिलाए तुहारी पारि जात कुन कथा सो हिट सेल्फ रुक्मिणी रिमाइंडेड सत्य भामा अफ निर्गुण ब्रह्मा दैट इज Krishna and that parijata tree and its possession stand nowhere to before the bhakti to that parama guru krishna the silence of satya bhama hearing those words of rukmini that itself suggests about the realization of the subjective self and the development of the character as she undergoes that turmoil that itself silence itself is a meaningful exposition of the character however interpretations vary in different performance situations so now in my next demonstration i would like to show a portrayal of satya bhama who boasts being wife of the lord krishna and when she hears that parijata has been offered to rukmini how she gets distressed and almost claims her husband and she as she was angry she says go away krishna i don't want to hear from you anything because you have offered the parijata to rukmini why don't you go to your wife beloved wife and embrace her why have you come to me so we will just try to demonstrate a brief um, a narrative of that and following that i will again demonstrate the difference of the character portrayal in rukmini so satya bhama and rukmini both female characters but how the subjective self undergoes a sadgati and how the realization of self there's a lot of difference so presenting first satya bhama from parijatharan in uh, the ankya git ke khobo he bujol hutu ho ke हे बुजलो हो तो जान तुरी सूरी 
dialogue between Krishna and Satyabhama. Satyabhama, as you have seen, she is angry, distressed, and Krishna was trying to comfort his paramour. So now, we see that with the portrayals of women characters like Satyabhama and Rukmini, both deeply in love with Krishna, but individual journey of realizing the Paramatattva differs while Rukmini, from beginning, dedicates herself in Bhakti Sringara, uniting her mind and body to the Parama Purusha, Satyabhama undertakes a passage of sensuousness and realization to get acquainted to the inner self. So my, my next demonstration would be the character of Rukmini from Ankadeva's Nat Rukmini Haran. Small demonstration. Our next section is Bhakti Shringara 
and elaboration. Here I have taken an excerpt from my own work, Parama Prema Rupa, and epitomizing Bhakti Sringara in Satriya dance from a recent publication. And I'd like to quote from my own work, Koroto Huroto Keli Gupi Durobal Duroboli Bheli Dhori Horikanto Rohoto Bahumeli. Here is the play of the flute whose mellifluous music moves the gopikas to surrender themselves in the name of Krishna. Narratives of Sringara from the texts of Shankarev and Madhubdev abundantly celebrate the submission of body and mind of the Naikas who forget the mortal world in enchanting the world of love and prema bhakti. Sringara rasa is considered to be one of the most highlighted and elaborated rasa bhava in the context of Indian dance traditions. Hotriya dance in its exploration of bhakti at its core content builds its texture almost on the compositions of Honkordev and Madhavdev and in some cases their immediate apostles. It is interesting to see how the saint poet pens down his texts with his imaginative skills creating ambiences and moods of each rasa to savour the content himself and share with other rasikas. Let us consider some examples in this context. With reference to Sringara in its accumulative combinations of Bibhava, Anubhava, and Vyabhichari Bhava, and emerging from the seed of Rati, love, one finds innumerable uh, references of such interactive moments. So my next demonstration would be a brief uh, example of our work, Brindavan Krira. Uh, taken from Hong Kong, it was Bhagavad, a translated work, Bhagavad Purana, where the saint poet goes on to describe the entire atmosphere, you know, creating the whole ambience of Sringara. So he describes the uh, season of Horat and goes on to describe the beauty of the flora and fauna surrounding him. And when he plays the flute, how the entire uh, atmosphere dances to the music, divine music, and how Brajara Gopi, they forget everything in the world and surrender to that divine music. So a small demonstration, a brief demonstration from the work Brindavan Krita. Kundara harata kala bhantayo dika bhulanon dita debe dekhi tara srika. Brikhanirantare Modhupane matahuya Gunjare brahmare Mayore aravakaroi Parvatakasari Unihada Kokilara kuhu kuhu dhani Yeah. 
was a description of in the beautiful autumnal night Krishna desired to hold playful delight with gopis in Vrindavan as the moon was coming up from the eastern sky as if love torn ladies were agog with desire Lord Krishna was observing the fluorescent moon the entire moonlit atmosphere of Sharad became enjoyable. And the Lord began to sing in mellifluous tone, hearing which the gopis surrendered themselves. On another occasion, Honkodev expresses some bhoga shringara in the character of Kuzi, the hunchback lady, in the chapter Kuzir Bansa Puran where the character expresses her ananda in her fulfillment of a desire to unite with Krishna. And it's penned, Hridayata tanata sokuta ghohiya erailo madana pira ananda murtiko dui hate hiyato alingi bhoila nishpapo. Placing his eyes on her body, the Lord released her from erotic desire. Embracing her, her, he liberated her from the mundane. Another brief demonstration from the work, Mathura Vijay, taken from Hankardeva's Kamsavad, where there is an explication of the character, Kuzi, Hoirindri, and how she put sandal paste and Krishna is overwhelmed, he transforms her into a beautiful lady, and Hodindri desires to unite with Krishna. Sandana ra patra khohi te jyoti Khubu ja kha dekhi langta Sandana ra patra khohi te jyoti Khubu ja kha dekhi langta Aare khoi bindri bolaya khuniyo khundara Moi kong khorai ra dakhi Aare khoi bindri bolaya Khuniyo khundara Moi kong khorai ra dakhi Pujani putira Hati priti kara Mohara sandana matra Pujani putira Hati priti kara mohara sandana matra Aare tura dui bine ito sandana ra Asaya kona patra Aare tura dui bine ito sandana ra Asaya kona patra Sandana ra patra hohi te juboti Hubu ja ka dekhi nanta Sandana ra patra hohi te juboti 
similarly, in the exposition of character of Hita, Rukmini, Hatyabhama, or even the Gopikas, the poet vividly describes the moods of love and yearning for the union with the protagonist and in failure or delayed response of those interactive moments, Vipralambha Sringara is fully explored in the lyrical compositions. So we see a lot of elaborations of how with the pangs of separations with the Lord Krishna, the gopikas emote their pain when they don't see Krishna. Uddhava Bundhu Modhupuri Rahola Muraru, a short demonstration. Udhava Bandhu Modhu Puri Raha Lamu Raru Modhu Puri Raha Lamu Raru Udhava Bandhu He However, in all these character elucidations, with the references of pleasure, pain, sorrow, ecstasy, loss, in the process of yearning, love, romance, there is a gati, a movement of mana, horira, and atma of the character. And we see how the naika, through her physical senses, unite with the Paramapurusha, the Supreme Being. In depiction of the characters of Krishna's playful movement with the gopikas and a one-to-one -one relation of each gopika with Krishna, the concept of bheda and abheda, identical and different, find vivid reflection. Now, how does this bheda and abheda gets visualized in dance representations or in the repertoire, in the figurines or in the paintings of the performing bodies? A fleeting glance to the distinctive repertoire of hot air dance itself, the male and female movements and presentations, we get to see that. Accordingly, the treatment of the dancing body is introduced to the technical aspect of the dance form in male and female body representations. So the difference of the technique starts from the basic stance itself, where the body and the energy flow get distributed in, uh, in, in two different ways, Puruhura and Prakritiura. So we know in Hotria dance we have two basic stances, Puruhura and Prakritiura. So right from the beginning, this, this difference in the technique gets uh, uh, elaborated. While the feminine grace is called, celebrated in the Prakriti aspect, the vigorous, elated movements of Krishna and the male characters find its place in the male presentations of Satriya dance. Ritualistically, 
every monk in the celibate order hotras they find its place in the male they have to uh, deal with both this male and female representations and they find its uh, uh, its its uh, explication its description with equal dexterity the shift of the special paradigm and women joining the performance ha- performance arena have also taken up the same context and now we see how the female dancing bodies they have to maintain that equal dexterity and that difference which again comes out even in the costume need to do justice with that distinction of male and female representations so my next demonstration would be that a short description of how a monk in the hotra how the monks deliver that last year that feminine quality uh, as we get to see in the hotras ritualistically so now my humble request to uh, sri hari prakash hoykia barban again to depict before you that last year element as depicted by the monk in the hotra so uh, uh horida will be uh, demonstrating before you an aspect from the salinas kindly observe the treatment of the body a male body depicting the last year quality So after this we now move on to uh, the description of a female body female dancing body demonstrating a male dance number so i'll just try to uh, do a brief demonstration so that was a brief uh, description of zumura melanas from the purusha repertoire of satriya dance coming to the end in all these dance narratives though the understanding of krishna in his human manifestation the cheerful young lad struggling with so many challenges put before him at every moment and expressing his deep love for humanity for everyone surrounding him the supreme consciousness is constantly reminded in his presence so there is a constant search of the soul within which is the form of human incarnation that glimpses into the larger supreme consciousness therefore the constant shuffle between the human and the divine the bhakta 
in the form of Rukmini, Sita, Gopikas, and so on, constantly experience the duality of Akar and Nirakar in their Premapurna Hridaya of Krishna as Murari. And yet, the Paramapurusha governs the sentiment. This understanding stems from the basic philosophy of body in Satriya dance, which celebrates every element of nature as a seed from the Supreme Consciousness, the Parama Purusha. Jata Jiva Jangava Kita Patangana Aganaga Jagateri Kaya. Divinity pervades to all beings and all beings are representations of your body. Once again, from my entire team on call, Shri Debajit Hoikya, on vocal, Shri Gautam Bayan, and vocal and dance by Shri Hari Prakhat Hoikya. We sincerely thank Sangit Natak Academy and you, the Rasikas, the Vidwans, who constantly, with your warm wishes, support us, motivate us to take this journey of sadhana before you. I wind up with Krishna te pohilo jeno jiva mana prano. Krishna ta murti kahida yata karai dhana hari Krishna te pokhilo jena jiva mana Prana Hari Krishna Te Pokhilo Jena Jeeva Mana Prana Hari Thank you so much. With this, we conclude lecture demonstration session for the day. We will reconvene tomorrow, the 17th of November 2020 at 5 p.m. with Sri Koruna Bora's lecture demonstration on Hotria Dance and Analytical Overview. We also have beautiful performances scheduled for this evening from 6.30 p.m. including Gayon Bayon by Prahan Nabhunya and group, Hotria Dance by Rubul Kumar Mohanta, Hotria dance by Priyanka Sinha and Pooja Das, and another Hotria dance by Krishna Pankaja Dotta. Look forward to having you all again in the evening. Thank you so much. <laughs>